Hi guys I am back with a new video. In this video we will introduce all features in mod menu. So let's start the video with the opening LGL mod menu. Always do it on my own so I gotta get through it and the only thing I know is to love what I'm Here are all categories for features. It is necessary for you in modding. Because if you have knowledge about the feature categories so you can hook the right feature in the mod menu. So let's start opening the switch category. Here you can see that toggle, checkbox and button on off are included in the switch category. Because they have two forms. One is enable and another is disable. They mean a switch which can be switched on or off. Now I am showing you multiple choices. You can choose here your choices. Spinner, seat bar and radio button are included in multiple choice category. But the radio button is different because it has a default form which is named off button. Now I am showing you the input value category. Here you can input your custom value as you want. Seat bar is also counted because it is also used for inputting value. Seat bar, input value and input text are included in the value inputter category. Now I am showing you the single action category. These features have only one action. Button and button link are included in the single action category. Now I am showing you the last category named just shows only category. You don't need these features for modding. You need this feature to remind the user with text. Now I am showing you how you can use this. In rich web view you need to learn about HTML. If you don't have any knowledge about HTML you can copy this line and write your text. Anyway I have made italic my text in rich text view using these symbols. Anyway you can comment on what I should make in the next part. Thank you for watching.